A traffic alert now for drivers on I-565. You need to be aware of overnight construction closings and a detour route. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us live in Madison with all the details. Emily. That's right, guys. I'm here near 565, right across the way from Toyota Field. Now it is rush hour. We've seen a lot of cars out here, even some backups closer into the five o'clock hour. And that's exactly why City of Madison officials chose the overnight hours for some overnight lane closures this week. Now progress is being made on the flyovers, the overpasses, and full lane closures are needed to get the work done safely. So to get that done, crews will be closing different sides of 565 between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. over the next two to three months. They started this week with the westbound lanes. For drivers to get around the detour, they just need to get off at the Madison Boulevard exits. For westbound closures, they need to get off at exit 13. And during eastbound closures, they'll need to get off at exit 9. Madison Mayor Paul Finley says it was a team decision to do the construction during non-peak driving hours to make it a little easier on everyone. He says while the detour is a bit of an inconvenience for now, it'll be worth it when the project is complete. In, in its patience, you know, it's one of those things. Sometimes these projects take time, but boy, it's going to make a big difference for Town Madison, for the South, everybody on the South of 565. Um, exciting for us and hopefully the community. A little bit of patience and we'll get there. Mayor Finley says he expects the overnight lane closures to last through the next two to three months. They'll be alternating between the eastbound and westbound sides. Now, the project as a whole is expected to wrap up in January. Now, again, that detour isn't anything too crazy. You just need to take Madison Boulevard down one exit. But, of course, it's happening during those overnight hours. So give yourself a little bit of extra time and be careful out there. Live in Madison tonight, Emily Moser, News 19.